So this is a three lead holter system. Um, the things that you'll need are you'll need a set of clippers. So this has a 40 blade clipper on it. We'll be making three small patches of shaved fur. Um, these are the two different types of electrodes. So if you wanna come in a little bit and zoom. So we have two different styles of electrodes here. Both accomplish the same task. Um, just depends on which one you might get in the mail. Um, these electrodes have the spot where the actual lead attaches to. So they clip on in place. They will be removed, but you have to put a little bit of tension on them to remove them. And then they all have a self-adhesive sticky side on the other side. There is a little bit of gel that's already in place underneath the sticky. We usually put a little dab of gel. If we have it, if not, it's okay. You still get a good reading. So those are the electrodes. The electrode placement will go over again, but this is a European system. So the colors are a little bit different than what you might have seen. The red lead goes on the right side of the dog's chest, and then the yellow and green lead go on the left side. The yellow will go up towards the top, and then the green lead will go on the bottom. These are the three leads. These cords have a really miraculous job of tangling themselves up no matter how straight you keep them. So just try to do your best. My advice is to attach the leads to the electrodes that you will be using before you attach the electrodes to the dog. It'll go much smoother and you don't have to push on their ribs. This part is going to be programming and setting up the holter device. So the cord attaches here on the bottom. There is a little lever. If you pull down on that lever, then the whole piece comes apart. This is the side that you're going to need to put your battery in. So AAA batteries will be provided. That goes in the spring. And then there is a memory card that will also be provided. We will probably have you label or write down your dog's name. That way we know the dogs that are on that memory card. It probably will be to be on a sticky note or a piece of paper that's included, so that way we can use these as many times as needed. On the back side, it has the logo of the Holter with these two arrowheads, which is important. That is how this device slides into place. If you get it wrong, that's okay, you'll figure it out because this has resistance. It will not slide in, so you'll know this is the correct way to insert it. This little lever pops out when the card is inserted, and if you need to get the card back out, you push on that lever and it snaps out. So all the way in there. And then you can reassemble the device. There's a lip up here, so you need to assemble it at an angle. And then it clicks into place, and then you close the latch. Push the green button, turns on the device itself. It may give you that it needs a service warning, service recommended. You can just hit the green button to move on. And then it says starting week options are down here. There's the ID, which we can change. To select on the menu, you just hit the green button as needed. This is the ID of the device, so you know which device you have of the two. When you're ready to start recording, we'll do that once the electrode leads are all in place. Um, but we'll say start recording. We'll to go through the time, the date on the device. Make sure we write that down so we know whose dog is who. And then we'll go ahead and say start. So what we'll do is we'll move over to attaching and shaving, and then we will hook back up the device.